Welcome to our channel. Today we are taking you on a journey to explore the best of Italy. Whether you're an art enthusiast, a history buff, a food lover, or simply someone who appreciates natural beauty, Italy has it all. So sit back, relax, and let us be your virtual tour guide as we reveal the top 10 must visit places in Italy. First on our list is the Dolomites a stunning adventure through one of the most spectacular natural wonders in the world. The Dolomites, also known as the Dolomite Mountains, Dolomite Alps or Dolomitic Alps, are a mountain range in northeastern Italy. From Venice to get there are approximately 165 kilometers. Dolomites are an often overlooked spot for travelers to Italy. But what if I told you that the Dolomites are unbelievably gorgeous and you could have this view without hiking? Would you want to go? The Dolomites gets our vote as one of the best places to visit in Italy, not only because it is a hiking paradise, but also because the scenery is stunning. You do not need to be a hiker to appreciate the Dolomites, but if you are a hiker, the Dolomites are a world class. Expect to see some jaw-dropping scenery here. The Trinca Tori is one of the easier hikes in the region. The hike from Lagazui to the Falzarego Pass is mostly downhill, since a cable car whisks you up to the highest point. And Tre Cime di Lavaredo, with the iconic views, is great for kids age of 8 or older. I think 2-3 to three days are enough for some scenic drives rides up in the cable cars and enough time for some hiking. If you enjoy mountain scenery and want to experience Italy with a dash of Austria, you could easily spend a week here. Next, let's venture to the Aosta Valley. The Aosta Valley is a mountainous region in the northwestern Italy. Tucked away in the northwest corner of Italy is a fantastic landscape of snow-capped mountains quaint towns and even a few castles. One of the most unique things to do is to ride the panoramic Mont Blanc cable car that runs from the Point Helbronner, Italy, to Aguil du Midi, France. This is a 5km one-way journey that is filled with views of glaciers and incredible views of the Alps. Tour the castles in Aosta Valley, ride the panoramic Mont Blanc cable car and go hiking in Grand Paradiso National Park. Aosta Valley is a great place to take older kids, with its hiking trails, castles to explore and the unforgettable views from the panoramic Mont Blanc cable car and the chance to see Mont Blanc, the highest mountain in the Alps. You will need at least four or five days if you want to visit a few castles and go hiking in Grand Paradiso National Park. No trip to Italy would be complete without a visit to the stunning Cinque Terre. The Cinque Terre, meaning Five Lands, is a coastal area within Liguria, in the northwest of Italy. It lies in the west of La Spezia province and comprises five villages Montoreso al Mare, Vernaza, Corniglia, Manarola, and Rio Maggiore. The Cinque Terre is one of Italy's most scenic spots. It is here that five colourful, gorgeous towns precariously sit on their hills that tumble into the Mediterranean Sea. Hiking from town to town can be fun for older kids. Spend some time at one of the beaches. Our top pick is the Monteresso al Mare. Rent a paddle boat with a slide and hours of fun for kids and the adults. Get to enjoy beautiful views along the coastline. 
it is possible to visit the Cinque Terre on a long day trip from Florence. However, for the best experience, plan on spending at least one night in one of the five towns. With one full day, hike or take the train to connect all five towns. With more time, relax on one of the beaches or day trip to Portofino. For art lovers, a trip to Florence is a must. Without a doubt, Florence is one of the best places to visit in Italy. Florence is the capital city of the region, Tuscany, in central Italy. This city was the birthplace of the Renaissance and the art museums here are a testament to that. Michelangelo David, the amazing Uffizi Gallery, the frescoes on the Dome of Duomo and the statues that are on display in the historic city centre are spectacular sights to see. See Michelangelo David climb the Duomo, tour the Uffizi Gallery, stroll across Ponte Vecchio, eat lots of gelato, visit the rooftop bars and restaurants, and watch the sunset from Florence to Pisale Michelangelo. You can race through the best of Florence in one day. However, two to three days allows you to slow down and visit some worthwhile off the beaten path spots. Florence also makes a great home base for day trips into Tuscany. Travel to the picturesque region of Tuscany and immerse yourself in its charming countryside. Tuscany is a region in central Italy situated near Florence at 3.5 kilometers, 17 minutes drive. You could easily spend one week in Tuscany, settling down in a Tuscan villa with day trips out to the surrounding towns. Tour the hill towns of Tuscany. Siena is one of the larger towns and like Florence, makes a great home base for exploring this region. Top hill towns include San Gimigano, Pienza, Moltacino, Moltalpuciano, and Volterra. Tuscany is a nice break from Italy's bigger cities. It's possible to rent bikes and take a cycling tour of the wineries. The kids can't taste wine, of course, but they might enjoy biking between the wineries, depending on their age. With one day, you can day trip into Tuscany from Florence, visiting a few of the smaller towns. But more time, ideally three to five days, allows you to relax and soak up this region. Another beautiful location is Lake Como, a hidden gem nestled in the heart of northern Italy. Lake Como, also known as Lario, is a lake of glacial origin in Lombardy, Italy. Nestled at the foot of the Alps, Lake Como is one of Italy's most romantic spots. Visit Classi Bellagio, Explore the town of Varenna. Cruise past the villas on Lake Como and visit Villa Carlotta. And Villa del Balbianello. Lake Como is a very easy day trip from Milan. Heading north, the magical city of Milan Way. Milan is a city in northern Italy, regional capital of Lombardy, and the second most populous city proper in Italy after Rome. Milan is home to the Duomo, world-class museums, trendy shopping areas, this city is undergoing an architectural renaissance and it is worth even a few hours on the fastest of itineraries. 
walk on the roof of the Duomo. Go shopping at Galleria Vittorio Emanuele. One day is enough to visit Milan or more days makes a nice day trip if you are travelling between cities such as Florence, Venice, Lake Como and Cinque Terre. The next stop is to Rome, the Eternal City. Rome is the capital city of Italy and this is also the capital of the Lazio region. Rome, just hearing the name conjures up some of the most famous landmarks in the world. The Colosseum, the Sistine Chapel and the Vatican. The history here spans 28 centuries, making Rome one of the oldest inhabited cities in Europe and one of the best places to visit in Italy. This city is a wonderful blend of historical sites, charming piazzas and neighbourhoods, world-class museums and iconic sites, the Colosseum, the Pantheon, Trevi Fountain, the Vatican Museums and Sistine Chapel, the Borghese Museum, walk through the historic heart of Rome, explore Piazza Navona, and Campo de Fiori, and have dinner in Trastevere. Rent bikes and bike the Appian Way. It's a fun way to spend a morning or afternoon and it's the perfect sightseeing break for kids. You can hit the main sites in a rushed one day tour of the city. With two busy days, you can visit the highlights, what we list above under top experiences. From Rome, we fly to our journey through the floating city Venice. Venice is a city in northeastern Italy and the capital of Veneto region. It is built on a group of 126 islands that are separated by expanses of open water and by canals. Portions of the city are linked by 472 bridges. Venice is one of our favourite spots in Italy. Why? It is a small and compact, perfect to be explored with just a few days' time. Venice is romantic, historic and gorgeous. The canals, the gondolas, the architecture, the colourful towns of Murano and Burano. What is not to love? Venice is one of the most interesting places to visit in Italy and makes it to the top of the list for many of first time visitors. Venice is one of the most interesting places to visit in Italy and makes it to the top of the list for many first time visitors. Wander along the canals. Take a gondola ride through the city. See St. Mark's Square. Walk across the Rialto Bridge and visit the Doge's Palace and St. Mark's Basilica. Plan on spending at least one busy day to see the highlights of Venice. Two to three days gives you more time to visit Murano, Burano and Lido and to explore the quieter neighbourhoods away from the main touristic area. With its crystal clear waters, magnificent mountains and charming towns, Lake Garda is a location which you don't want to miss. Lake Garda is the largest lake in Italy and is located in northern Italy, between Milan and Venice and a very short drive from lovely Verona. With brightly coloured towns, castles and Roman ruins, beaches and vineyards amusement parks and historical sites there is plenty here to keep you busy for days explore the small towns that sit along the lake go hiking 
take a boat tour, visit a few castles, and ride the cable car to Montebaldo for spectacular views of the area. Visit Sirmione, explore Scaligero Castle, and take a boat trip to Isola del Garda. Spend the afternoon in Riva del Garda and visit the lakeside towns of Malcasin and Limon sul Garda. There you have it, the top 10 must visit places in Italy. From the historical landmarks to of Rome, to the beauty of Cinque Terre, Italy has something to offer to every traveller. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more travel inspiration.